discussing a new topic that is care position in exodontia. So when a patient comes for extraction, we do it with the help of forceps, elevators and for doing that, we should have a proper stability. But before that, we have to make the patient comfortable and we have to make sure it is within the reach of the dentist. Because the dentists have different heights. Some are tall, some are short and some are average height. We cannot do anything with our heights. But the patient position can be lifted up or brought to our level by doing the chair position adjustment. So that is all we will be discussing in this session. So in this topic we will be discussing various aspects like introduction and then height of the dental chair. Here we will have three parameters. One is the dental chair, its height has to be adjusted. Second is the operator that is the dentist. We cannot increase our height and decrease our height but we have to position in a correct way so that we get good accessibility for the tooth. And the third one is the patient, that is the position of the patient also needs to be adjusted little bit. So we have to adjust three things, height of the dental chair, position of the patient, position of the operator. When all these three things synchronize, then we can do a beautiful atraumatic extraction. And then after that, we will be discussing the chair position and the sitting position. Like a dentist will not be doing extractions every time while standing. They will, they, there is a dentistry which is done in sitting position also. So those chair positions quadrant wise we will be discussing here. And then the importance of finger rest, how to apply it and what benefit you get by giving finger rest we will be discussing. And towards the end of our session we will be discussing various considerations in different different cases. How we have to stand and how we have to adjust our instruments. Right. So begin with. You all would have seen cricket matches. So you would have seen there is a pitch and around the pitch the whole fielding team is set up. There is a wicket keeper, there is a bowler and the players are standing in around the batsman. Why they are standing around the batsman is to make sure their objective that is the batsman should not take a run and if the ball is on the air to catch it comfortably. So they adjust accordingly so that their objective is reached. Same way. In our extraction, we have a dental chair and tooth is our focus of attention, what we have to extract it. So in and around the tooth, you should be placed in such a way that it aids you removing it comfortably. So that is all about we are going to discuss. So coming to the introduction part. So as I have already discussed, the position should be comfortable to the patient and to the surgeon. If we are not stable and on our feet, we cannot do a proper extraction. So the first motto is we should make sure that the operator and the patient are in comfortable position. And then by making us the patient and the surgeon in comfortable position, it gives better stability and support to the surgeon, which is very, very important. And it allows the surgeon to have maximum control over the forceps because we'll be using forceps, we'll be using elevators. So elevators will be having mechanical advantage so it will be the forces will be multiplied into 3x, 4x, and 5x. So a greater control is required. So if the patient is in correct position, operator is in the correct position, all the forces can be applied. Otherwise, unwanted movements can happen and unwanted teeth can get extracted. So this is the first parameter we will be discussing. One is the height of the dental chair, second is position of the operator, third is position of the patient. So the first one, height of the dental chair. So you have seen a routine dental chair. So the dental chair can be elevated up and it can be decreased also. The backrest can be tilted backside and it can be made upright also. So this four movements we have to utilize to make sure the height is according to the operator's height. So first and foremost, what you should be doing, this diagram what is there on the screen, it tells a lot of things. For maxillary tooth, your inclination should be something like this. The patient backrest should be reclined. And for mandibular teeth, it should be little bit upright. Not 90 degrees, but between 45 degrees and 90 degrees, it should be upright. So what did we learn? 
for maxillary tooth any tooth maxillary tooth extraction the backrest should be reclined uh, around 30 to 60 degrees it can go a little more back side and for mandibular teeth the backrest should be elevated and the height of the dental chair we will take our shoulder as a reference point based on the shoulder we will increase or decrease in the height of the dental chair so this goes something like this for maxillary teeth the so maxillary teeth first quadrant or second quadrant we are going to extract the max for maxillary tooth extraction the teeth to be extracted so that means the teeth when the patient is sitting height if you increase the chair height the teeth height also will increase the teeth to be extracted should be 3 inch below the shoulder level of the operator so this is the shoulder so 3 inch below so please remember that 1 inch 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter 1 inch is equal to 2.5 centimeter so here we are talking about 3 inches so from here almost 8 to 9 centimeter the height of the tooth to be extracted should be there for a maxillary tooth and for the mandibular tooth extraction that is the third quadrant and fourth quadrant the tooth should be which is supposed to be extracted should be at a height of 6 inch below the patient's elbow so this is your elbow so 6 inch below almost it should be there so it will be around 14 to 16 centimeter from the elbow level the tooth should be there so the operator is standing height of the chair should be decreased to that level so what did we learn for maxillary tooth it should be 3 inch below the shoulder level for mandibular tooth it should be 16 centimeter or 6 inch below the elbow level this is very important now coming to the maxillary tooth extraction which i have just mentioned the backrest should be reclined backward what you can see in this photograph so this backrest is reclined into backward that is 45 to 60 degrees to the floor so the floor is taken as the reference perpendicular you can draw it from there you see that the backrest goes around 45 to 60 degrees it goes backward so for maxillary tooth extraction so first one what we discussed was height of the chair now we are discussing the backrest for maxillary tooth 45 to 60 and then for mandibular tooth extraction the backrest should be little upright which is almost like 45 degree to the occlusion plane 45 to 90 degree it should be there so from 90 degree you can go a little bit 10 degrees you can go back side also so it's almost like an upright position what you can see this is for mandibular tooth extraction the position what you are seeing there so maxillary it is 30 to 60 degree recline backward for mandibular tooth extraction 10 degree inclination or from other side you can bring it to 45 to 90 degrees like that so height of the chair we have discussed the backrest adjustment we have discussed as per the maxillary and as per the mandibular tooth so now coming to the next parameter that is the position of the patient's head neck and trunk so you can see a patient lying on the dental chair so the head neck and the trunk that is the back side of the patient they should always be in one straight line very important otherwise lot of strain will come and then unwanted pain will come so this is very important the patient should also be at a comfortable position so this is extremely important position it should be in one straight line so this will nullify any strain caused by stretching it backward or pushing it forward extremely important so now coming to position of the operator we have discussed height of the dental chair position of the patient we have discussed now we are discussing the height of the oper position of the operator so if i am the dentist where i should be standing like in cricket field the bowling team the fielders are set same way where should be the operator so now you can see in your screen there is a patient sitting on a dental chair and there are four quadrants this four quadrants can also be divided something like this four quadrants you can see here so there is some zones this is first second third fourth it's a arbitrary quadrants so the first quadrant and fourth quadrant is called operator zone where the operator will be standing the second quadrant is called the assistant zone and then the third quadrant is the weaver zone 
quadrant if anyone want to witness the extraction they can stand there this fourth quadrant generally operators don't but generally operators will be standing from 8 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock position 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock position operator will be standing so if 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock position can also be called as instrument zone so this zone can be called as instrument zone from here to here it is the operator zone this is assistant zone and this is called viewer zone four zones are there in and around the patients to the patient 